what is going on guys it's your boy shady mike gaming and welcome to today's video in today's video we're going to be talking about the best uh graphics and performance settings for madden 24 when you're playing on the pc uh basically how to make your madden look and play like mine um i get a literal ton of questions every day about my setup uh, people ask me to walk you through my settings so i wanted to take the time today and do that um we're gonna take first we're gonna take some time and look at the settings on the desktop uh, then we're gonna take a look at some of the settings in madden um because you know the game's not gonna play right in the game if you don't have your settings right outside of the game so we'll first take a look at uh, all of you know that stuff but First things first, a couple things I, I wanted to answer some of the questions that I get all the time. A lot of people come to me and say, hey, like my game is running in slow motion. It's like everything is slow. Um, hopefully some of the changes that we make today will help with that. Uh, but maybe not. It might just be you don't have the hardware to push the game. We will see. Um, I get a lot of questions from people asking like, hey, are you using a reshade? I do not use reshade in any of my videos. Um, I am changed some settings that give me more color. We'll walk through those as well to make your game look incredible I, I truly think this game looks incredible um my pc specs a lot of people ask me um i have an 8700k cpu it is overclocked um i would not consider that a high-end cpu anymore it was very high-end when i bought it but now it's probably closer to the middle of the road i pair that with a 3080 ti graphics card um yes that is pretty high end um it's pretty high end at this point but even still with the 40 4, series out um, it's not like top of the line anymore, but it is still pretty high end in terms of the specs and what you got to spend to, you know, get a setup like that. So, uh, you know, I'll grab a 5090 when it comes out and all that good stuff, but still for me, it's killing the game at 4K. So that's really all that I need for now. Um, I also get a lot of questions, Shady, what PC should I buy for all those uh, who don't have a PC yet? What PC should I buy? My PC was custom built, so I can't really answer that question. Um, you know, some people play on laptops. What laptop should I buy? I don't know. My suggestion to you is do research on what games you want to play. Um, find out the recommended specs for those games and get those specs or preferably above. My recommendation is always buy the most expensive thing that's in your budget that you can afford that helps with future proofing and things of that nature. So with that being said, um, in today's video, we're going to be covering uh, some settings. Um, I am on an NVIDIA setup. So if you're an AMD user, um, you're only going to be able to use my in-game settings. So we're going to start with some out-of-game settings that can help you get better performance. So we'll start with that. Um, what you want to do is you want to right click on your desktop and you're going to see NVIDIA control panel. Let's go ahead and open that up. Um, and mine always takes a little bit to open. I don't know why, but I'll give it a second. We're going to go through some settings um, that will help you guys get some much better performance. So first things first, try and move this over a little bit. Um, you want to go to the top option, adjust image settings with preview. Make sure that the middle option is checked. Use the advanced 3D image settings. That way, all the changes that we make today will actually be applied to your game. If it's on anything else, those settings will not be applied. The next thing that we want to do is we want to go over to change resolution. Now, here in this box, you want to make sure the resolution of your monitor is selected. Um, and in this box, you want to make sure your, re your refresh rate is selected. I have a 4K 144 hertz monitor. So I've got 4K here and 144 hertz here. Worst thing is if you have 120 hertz monitor or something like that and you've got 60 selected, it's not using the full power of your monitor. That's the things that you can push. Um, in the second option here, uh, I had to change all these color depth, 32 bit, RGB full. I have a 10 bit monitor. So this was default on eight. My monitor is 10. So I switch it. It'll give you some better colors um, and things of that nature. Um, obviously, if you don't know if you have an eight or a 10 bit monitor, uh, just Google the specs of your monitor. It should be able to tell you pretty quickly. So the next thing I want to show you all really quickly is kind of a tip or trick that I use to get incredible colors across all of my games. Um, so you want to adjust your desktop color settings and I want to like kind of show the background at the same time. So I rock with digital vibrance hundred. A lot of people are like, bro, what? Yes. I rock with digital vibrance at 100. Um, it gives you like a bunch more color. So you can see if it's at zero, everything's in black and white. I think the default is 50. Um, a lot of people rock 70. I rock 100. It gives me a ton of color. That's what you all see in all of my videos when people ask, well, reshade this, well, reshade that. I do not use reshade or any of that stuff. Um, I try to make sure 
uh, that, you know, I've got digital vibrance at 100 for any game that I'm playing. So uh, next up, set up G-Sync. Um, I don't know, you know, you should know if you have a G-Sync monitor or not. Uh, I do use G-Sync, so um, I have it enabled for windowed and full screen mode. If you have a G-Sync monitor, use it or don't. Um, that's up to you. It's going to be personal preference in terms of what you do like, but I do use G-Sync. I do like it. Works well on my setup. So next, uh, and really finally, we're going to go over to manage 3D settings. And what you can do now i have my settings set there's two tabs here you're going to see a global settings and a program settings here i actually just use global settings because these are settings that are set for every single game that i play um if you want to only change these settings for madden not sure why but maybe you have specific settings um you can go over to program settings and then you can select madden and make these changes specifically for madden but i make you know most of my changes you know here so if you want to you can go ahead and copy all of my settings um these are the ones that i use these are the ones that give me the best performance the only two really that I want to make sure that I highlight here are power management and preferred refresh rate. Now, I know there's a lot of people that play these games with like laptops and things of that nature. So if you're doing something like that, just really anything, make sure your power management mode is set to prefer maximum performance. That's going to get the very top out of your computer, make sure it's pushing as much power as possible. Same thing for the preferred refresh rate, make sure it's highest available, things of that nature. All right, so those are the settings that I use in NVIDIA control panel, really important, make sure you have those. There are two more settings that I want you all to make sure you have them set right. And if you don't have them set right, make sure to change them on your computer. It'll, they really help with performance. So I don't even know how to navigate to these two. We're just gonna type it in the search bar. The first thing that you wanna type in is just game. And usually it'll be the first thing that pop up. On the left, you'll see game mode settings. Really simple. It'll open up this box. Just make sure game mode is on. That's just one is make sure you have game mode on. It helps optimize everything, give you better performance. The next thing you want to type in, this is really important, type in background or back and you'll see background apps will come up. This is personal for me. Let apps run in the background. I have this completely off when I am gaming. I am gaming. So I do not want anything running in the background that could potentially be taking power away from my game. Um, it's really important. It helps in every game that I play. So those are two settings that really help. Uh, these are all the settings in terms of Windows that I've changed that I think help across all the games that I play. Um, so those are my settings in terms of Windows. Make sure you try those out. Let's go ahead and head into Madden and I'll walk you through the settings that I'm using in the game that'll help as well. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into our settings and, and all of this stuff really doesn't matter. We're, in this video, we're focused on our gameplay and our graphics. So I'll take you all through this tab real quick, what I use and why I use it. I uh, wanna start with the resolution. Make sure this resolution matches the resolution of your monitor. You're playing in 1440p, make sure it's 1440p. I'm in 4K, so we're in 4K, 1080, whatever. Um, if you wanna go lower than that, I guess like if your performance is that bad, like you can just drop it as low as possible, but you know, it kinda is what it is. Um, this is a highly controversial one. Uh, EA had came out and told everybody, make sure you're using full screen fam. Guys, I, I don't know the technical stuff behind it. Borderless window works better for me. I was stuttering in window, stuttering in full screen. Borderless window works best for me. Also, you guys know I'm a streamer, YouTuber. If I'm trying to read chat and click things out of the window, I need borderless window anyway, but um, borderless window. Uh, most important setting right here, y'all, is the frame rate lock. Now, I use the default auto 3060. That means my cutscenes are going to be 30 FPS and my gameplay is going to be in 60 FPS. I know I have 144 hertz monitor, but I'm just using what works for me. If you do unlimited, my frames go up to like 150. The game runs like crap. I don't know why it, it just does. Um, you can lock it to 120. Still very strange. You can lock it to 60. Still very strange. You can lock it to 30, but I don't want to do that. So I use the auto 30, 60. It works beautifully for me. I do not use V-Sync because I showed you all in the NVIDIA menu. I use G-Sync. Um, if you don't have G-Sync, 
definitely, definitely try V-Sync. I don't like V-Sync. I, I prefer not to use it in any of my games, and that's why I have a G-Sync monitor. But uh, if you don't have that, uh, make sure, you know, try this. It, this might smooth your game out quite a bit. Um, I do have an HDR monitor, but I, I just don't use it. I don't know why. Uh, so your rendering quality will change once you... Um, you know, once you change all the settings below it, so that will just be custom. Uh, for 3D grass, I have this on auto. I saw some people turning it on or off. I, I just have it on auto. Advanced hair, I have it on auto. Um, I don't like it off because guys like Trevor Lawrence and stuff, they look terrible without it. So I like advanced hair being on auto. Uh, ambient occlusion. Now, you can have this on auto. You can have it on always on. I actually have it on always on off um that's a really performance heavy setting you can turn it on you can turn the ray tracing on i don't deal with any of that ambient inclusion i can barely tell the difference when it's on versus when it's off so i keep it off um i put the quality on low but i don't think it matters since it's turned off lens flare depth fog and bloom are all on auto high resolution depth of field i have off um my mesh quality is on medium my texture quality is on high shadows are low crowd quality is low so you can see i have a very good mix of optimized settings y'all i can tr i have messed around with this i can put everything at ultra for the most part i can't even tell the difference this game looks great on my system great in 4k and guys last but not least we're here back in the discord if you still want further performance improvements after making these changes we all know how to mod uh, we're on pc if you don't know how to mod check out my modding tutorial on the channel um we've got the madden 24 performance patch mod by we master um i did show this um in my last modding showcase so uh check this out if you're still running into performance issues download this mod install it see if it helps there's been a lot of good feedback on the discord from it so check it out other than that y'all if you're still running into performance issues um it's probably just an issue with hardware you're gonna have to do some upgrades and things of that nature but other than that i hope these settings help this is your boy shady mike i'm signing out make sure you like and subscribe on your way out i'll catch you on the next one peace threes